What is up YouTube? We are back again with another Mega Bass Rod Review and this time we are going to be looking at the Destroyer Deimos. It is a model out of the US series of Destroyer Rods. I bought this rod last year in 2019. I used it all season um, so I have some good amount of hours into this rod. Now just side note, I'm not going to be reviewing rods that I have not actually used on my channel. I'm only going to be reviewing rods that I've put significant amount of time into the rod so I can give a thorough um, review. I don't do unboxings with rods. Um, I'm not going to buy a rod, play with it in my yard, and then give a review on it. So just FYI, if you're seeing a review on my channel, it means I've put in a lot of time on the rod and I'm giving you my thoughts after extensive use. That being said, please like and subscribe. I got more rods uh, that are in my queue for reviews. In fact, I picked up a couple of new uh, NRX rods this year. Well, one used and one new. Um, I'm going to be reviewing the drop shot rod. I'm going to be reviewing the NRX 872S. Plus, I have more Mega Bass rods in the queue that I'm going to be reviewing as well, including the Javelin, uh, the Perfect Pitch, a um, bunch of stuff. So stay tuned. Hit like and subscribe so you know when my new rod reviews come out. I'm going to be trickling them out all summer as I use the rods. Anyway, let's jump right back into the Deimos. Well, we haven't actually started. So this rod is an interesting rod. Um, if I were to say I've used most of the USA Destroyer uh, models uh, across the line, I would say this is probably the most normal, medium heavy rod they have in the whole series. So if you're looking for one rod that is much, that's the most like your typical 7.1 to 7.3 medium heavy, the Deimos is it. Uh, Mega Bass markets this rod as being a, like a, a single hook moving bait rod like for swim jigs, for chatter baits, um, buzz baits, spinner baits, something moving um, along the lines of like a, a Diablo Spec R. I will say that this rod, the best way to, to sum up the Mega Bass Destroyer Deimos is it is a jack of all trades, master of none. Is this a good rod for swim jigs and single uh, hook moving baits? It's pretty good. Is it the best I've ever used? No. But what the Deimos excels at is versatility. Um, this is a rod that you can use for uh, single hook moving baits. It is rated from three ace up to one ounce. Now, one thing to note is I've thrown paddle tail swim baits on this rod with quarter ounce heads with like Kai Tech 3.8s uh, um, and Exo Swim four inch. So I've thrown like three to four to five inch swim baits on this with quarter ounce heads, and this thing throws it great. So even though it's under the three eighth ounce rating, those techniques are totally doable on this rod. Um, you can throw lighter swim jigs with this. You don't have to go three eighths. You can go quarter ounce. So my my point is, this rod is fine for quarter ounce moving baits. Don't be afraid to throw them on that. Don't feel it's too light. This rod can definitely handle them. Um, this rod definitely excels in three eighths and half ounce. However. So if you're into like half ounce spinner baits, three eighth ounce spinner baits, this is a this is a good rod for that. Um, if you like to throw three eighths and half ounce swim jigs, this rod can do it. Um, obviously, same goes for chatter baits, three eighths and uh, half ounce, really good. Would I throw heavier than that on this rod? Probably not. Another thing this rod is actually really good at is um, just straight Texas rigging. If you want a rod that you can throw a swim jig, a chatter bait, and then slap on a, uh, a quarter ounce texas rig on this thing and throw a, a creature bait or a worm totally fine this rod can also be a pretty decent rod for um, weightless texas rig senko fishing because of the action um, this is a this is a fairly parabolic action i'll do a quick bend test at the end of the video if you want to skip to that but what makes this rod unique versus just regular medium heavy rods is the the bend so this rod I don't, you're not gonna be able to see it just sitting here but the, the arc of the parabolic bend of this rod's action goes pretty far down the blank in comparison to most um, medium heavies. So most medium heavies have a, like an extra fast or fast tip, kind of shuts off up here. The um, Deimos shuts off a little further down the blank. Not dramatically different, but like a little bit different. Enough to make this a decent moving bait rod along with um, bottom contact. So you got your typical Mega Bass Destroyer fit and finish, um, amazing top to bottom, SIC guides, um, middling cork. So I've said it in my past uh, Mega Bass Destroyer review, so if you've looked at them, you're probably going to hear me repeating the same things over and over, that the cork on Mega Bass Destroyers is not very premium. There's a lot of filler. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but I've sealed all of my 
um, destroy rods. In fact, I seal all my cork rods uh, with U40. And all the filler has stayed in there over the year. So I haven't had any damage or filler fallout, but it's definitely present. So as usual, Mega Bass gets like a B grade under cork. Um, maybe the new uh, 2020 destroyers have an upgrade in the cork department. I guess we'll see. Um, as far as balance goes, this rod is typically the same high-end balance uh, that you get with Mega Bass Destroyers. Um, I actually have a really lightweight reel on this at the moment. It's a Lose Custom Pro. I believe this is a magnesium reel, um, but it is super lightweight, so it balances pretty well just above the lock nut. Well, let me see if I can get that. Right about, right about where the tape is, above the lock nut. If you put a slightly heavier reel on it, it would balance right to the lock nut. But honestly, this is this is a really lightweight reel rod and reel combo. Um, I like the balance on the Deimos. It casts pretty good because it's got a little bit more of a parabolic action than a regular medium heavy. You can make slightly longer casts with the Deimos. Um, it doesn't cast as long as like the Javelin, obviously because Javelin's got a few extra inches on this thing. But this does cast pretty well. Um, so like I said, if you want to pick up a rod in the Mega Bass Destroyer line or even just even the Rochi line, you want to step up. The Deimos is a rod that can do bottom contact Texas rigs. This thing can throw um, three ace to half ounce jigs. I probably wouldn't go above half ounce with this thing for jigs uh, because it's not that powerful. Um, this thing is a, a yeah, it's a five five power rod, which is kind of a medium heavy. Um, so good balance, does a lot of techniques pretty well. I would say that this rod doesn't excel. This is not the best chatterbait rod. It's not the best swim jig rod. It's not the best Texas rig bottom contact rod. It just does them all like to uh, a like a B plus grade. So I would say jack of all trades, master of none. Good rod to have on the deck. If you got to have one rod to go um, and like co-angle with or go fish with people or even just bank fishing, you need one rod that can do a whole bunch of stuff. Um, take a good hard look at the Deimos. Uh, if you want to throw buzz baits, spinner baits, chatter baits, swim jigs, um, you could even throw bigger uh, square bills on this. I don't see why you couldn't. Um, light ones I would probably wouldn't throw, but maybe like fat square bills or um, uh, like slightly heavier crankbaits I think would be okay with that, as long as this thing uh, would be okay with this rod as long as you're not diving too deep. Um, this would actually probably be a good wake bait rod too. I haven't thrown any wake baits on that on this rod, but I don't see why it wouldn't uh, be fine with that. You can think of a lot of things to do with the Deimos. Um, it's just one of those rods where um, it does all medium heavy rod applications well, plus the bend is a little so the bend is a little softer and goes further down the blank on the action, which means it opens it up for ver or horizontal pulling, uh, you know, chuck and wind, uh, single hook uh, bait techniques. So that's my opinion on the Deimos. I like having it. Uh, if I was going to say if you're going to jump into the Mega Bass Destroyer line of rods, this is probably a good entry point because it's a versatile rod. You can try the Destroyers out. This is a good one to start with. Um, but that's my recommendation. If you guys got any questions about this rod or any of the destroyer rods in particular, please drop a comment down below. Uh, always like and subscribe. Keep in mind, I will do a bend test real quick. I'm going to compare this rod to what I consider like a pretty standard medium heavy, which is the 7.2 X Pride, which is actually the same length as this rod. So uh, stay tuned for the bend test. Until uh, next time, we'll see ya. So when I say that the Deimos has a kind of a more parabolic action, it is not that dramatic. Uh, Mega Bass's marketing for this rod would seem to read like this is like a really swoopy, um, like a Diablo Spec R type um, parabolic bend, but it is not that dramatic. So in my left hand here, I have the industry standard um, medium heavy rod, which is the 7.2 X Pride, 7.2 medium heavy, and then the five power Deimos Mega Bass Destroyer in my right hand. So the Deimos is gonna be closer to you on the camera. So I'm gonna lift them up and show the bend test. So I'm gonna go kind of deeper down the blank. These are both 7.2 by the way. So I'm gonna go deeper down the blank and uh, the Mega Bass drops a little more. The, where my finger is right now is where the parabolic bend on the Mega Bass is still swooping and continuing, where on the X Pride it's already shut off. So the X Pride is pretty much from where my finger back to the butt of the X Pride is just straight, whereas the Mega Bass is still doing a nice little S swoop. And as I move my finger up the blank, um, you'll see the Deimos drop down a little further than the X Pride. That's just another another 
sign that it's a little softer. So the Deimos is not dramatically softer than a regular medium, uh, medium power, extra fast action uh, casting rod like the X-Pride, but it is softer. It's got a little bit more of a parabolic bend that goes further down the blank, which makes it slightly better for swim jigs, chatter baits, moving, single hook moving baits than say the X-Pride would be. It's gonna give you a little more bend and play when you're fighting fish, um, and you're gonna get slightly longer casts. So that's all I got on the uh, Mega Bass Demos, and uh, we'll see you again at the next rod review. Have a great weekend, I guess. It's Friday, so see you later.